Let's have a recap of how can we find the gradient of a specific point. So we start with the original equations. And next, we're going to apply a small change for x and a small change for y. After we apply it, we just expand the usuals for the quadratic equations. So after we expand, this is the new equation, which we call as the second equations. And this is our first equations. We just need to carry out the simultaneous where we use the second equations minus the first equations. But y plus delta y minus y, we left with delta y. And x squared minus x squared, we cancel out. So we be left with only 2x delta x and delta x squared. But our objective is to find the delta y over delta x. So this is why we will divide by delta x for left and right hand side. And delta x and delta x can cut off. So this is why we have this one. But we know that delta x is not good enough. We want to be try to be as close to zero as possible. So this is why we use limit. So when we say the delta x approaches zero, we left with only 2x. So we can say that the gradient of the specific point is 2x. Let us try to see more questions now. Starting with this one, where we have the expression is inside the bracket of power of 2. For this case, we're going to eventually expand the bracket first. So how do we expand? We know we have just x squared plus 2x plus 1. But this is still the original equations, but I just expand it so that it's easier for us to do. So after that, we're going to apply the small change. Just remember that. Small change in y. And same thing, the x is going to explain a small change in x for all of the x inside the equations. Then after that, we just need to expand again one more time for whatever is inside the bracket now. So we expand x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. And same thing, we expand the bracket, 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1. This is just y plus delta y. Then this is y, we have the second equations and the original equation. So what should we do next? We should just do simultaneous, which is the second equations minus the original equations. And y and y, after we minus, is no more y. Uh, we should do onto the second equation. It's easier for us to do because this is also the or original equations where we just expand it. Then the x squared and x squared is also going to cut off. And 2x and 2x cut off. And 1 and 1 is also going to cut off. So now we only left with delta y, which is equivalent to 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 2 delta x. But if you remember, our objective is going to find delta y over delta x. So this is why we're going to be divided by delta x for both sides of the equations. Then we can just cut off for whatever is not related. We just simplify it. So we can say that delta y over delta x is equivalent to 2x plus delta x plus 2. But as we know, the delta x is not good enough. We want to use the limit. So we can say that the limit of delta x when delta x approaches 0 of delta y over delta x, ah, this is eventually equivalent to our gradient of the specific point. So when delta x is equal to 0, we have 2x plus 0 plus 2. So we can say that our gradient function is eventually 2x plus 2. And this is our master key. So let's have a recap now. So in the beginning, we have the original equations. We expand it like usual first, so it's easier for us to do. Then we apply a small change for delta y and delta x. Then we expand one more time again for the bracket. 
that this is what we have for the second equations. Once we have two equations, we do simultaneous, where the second equations minus off the original equations. Then we, if we realize that, these terms will be disappear, and here is the product of our after simultaneous. Then our objective is to find delta y over delta x. This is why we apply divided by delta x for both sides. So after cutting off those kind of delta x and simplify it, this is our new version. But we know delta x is not good enough. We want to try to approach it where the delta x approach zero. So this is why we have 2x plus delta x plus 2 where the delta x is now zero. So now we have delta x is zero. We left only dy over dx is equivalent to 2x plus 2. And this is the gradient functions. Let us differentiate the function by using first principle. So first, we have the original function first. So what should we do is we're going to apply the small change in y and the small change in x. But since we have a bracket here, we're going to expand it first so it's easier for us to do later on. So after expand, we have the new equations with the delta apply. So what should we do is we're going to do simultaneous where we use the new equation minus the original one. So we have y plus delta y minus y, 1 over 4x plus 4 delta x minus 1 over 4x. So we just need to simplify, but don't forget this is something that minus that involve fractions. So we need to make sure that they have the same denominator before we minus. So what should we do? So we're going to time each other. So this equation is going to time 4x. And this equation is going to times 4x plus 4 delta x. So that they have the same denominator now. And this y minus y, we left only delta y. So after they have the same denominator, they can be under one roof. So this is the denominator and 1 times 4x, we have 4x. 1 times 4x is also going to be 4x, but it's a minus. This is also 1 times 4 delta x, we have minus 4 delta x because minus is in the middle. So after that, we can clean it up a little bit. So let us see what we have now. So we have delta y is covering the 4x minus 4x, we have no more. We have minus 4 delta x over 4x, 4x plus delta x. But don't forget our objective is eventually finding delta y over delta x. So we are going to divide by delta x now. So delta x and delta x can cut off, 4 and 4 can cut off. So we left with delta y over delta x is equivalent to negative 1 over 4x plus delta x. But don't forget there is like one more x at the outside. But are we done now? Ah, no, because why? We know that in order to find dy over dx, which is the gradient, the delta x is not good enough. We are going to use limit where delta x approach 0, negative 1 over x, 4x plus delta x. So as we know, delta x is now approaching 0, we left you only dy over dx is just equivalent to negative 1 over x times 4x. So we can come to say a conclusion where our dy over dx is just equals to negative 1 over 4x squared. So let's, let's have a recap now. First, we have the original functions. Then we're going to apply a small change in y and small change in x. It's easier for us to do when we expand it. So after we expand, we're going to do simultaneous where the, this equation minus of the original equations. But this is a fraction, so we're going to find the same denominator first by time each other for the denominators. So after we time and we're going to clean up a little bit, since they are the same denominators, we can put it under one roof and 4x minus 4x cancel out. Left you only minus 4 delta x.
But our objective is finding delta y over delta x. That's why we divided by delta x for both sides. And delta x and delta x can cut off. So this is why we left only negative 1 over x bracket for x plus 4 delta x. But we know the delta x is not good enough. We are going to find the limit where delta x approaches 0. So when delta x approaches 0, we left only negative 1 over x bracket for x. And lastly, we have negative 1 over 4x squared and we are done. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.